Amelia Bedelia and the Surprise Shower by Peggy Parrish and Pictures by Fritz Siebel. This one's a little bit longer. I had a request for one little bit longer books. Amelia Bedelia and the Surprise Shower. There was a knock on the back door. Coming, coming, called Amelia Bedelia. She opened the door. Oh, it's you, Cousin Alkaloo, El she said. Do come in. Mrs. Rogers asked me to help out today, said Alkaloo. Is she having a party or something? Every Tuesday, said Amelia Bedelia, some ladies get together. They just sew and talk. But today, Miss Alma is in for a real surprise. These other ladies are giving Miss Alma a shower. A shower, said Alkaloo. A surprise shower, said Amelia Bedelia. Now why would they do that to her, asked Alkaloo. Miss Alma is nice. I don't know, said Amelia Bedelia. She is about to get married. They should do something nice for her. She can give herself a shower. Your folks do have funny ways, said Alkaloo. Say, are you cooking something? My cupcake, said Amelia Bedelia. She ran to the oven. Just right, she said. They need to cool a bit, then I will ice them. Mr. Rogers came in. Good morning, Amelia Bedelia. Good morning, Alkaloo, said Mr. Rogers. Why, what a nice lot of fish, said Amelia Bedelia. They should taste good, said Mr. Rogers. Please scale them and ice them. All right, said Amelia Bedelia. Say, Mr. Rogers, did you ever hear of giving somebody a surprise shower? Oh, yes, said Mr. Rogers. It is like a surprise party. Oh, and they shower the person with gifts. That is why they call it a shower. Mr. Rogers looked at his watch. I have to go to town, he said. Mr. Rogers left the kitchen. That makes more sense. They shower them with gifts. By the way, Amelia Bedelia, said Alkaloo, Mrs. Rogers told me to prune the hedges. Would you show me how? I would be glad to, said Amelia Bedelia. She went to the cupboard. She took out a box of prunes. Amelia Bedelia and Alkaloo went to the hedge. Now, said Amelia Bedelia, you take a prune, then stick it on like this. <laughs> She's so silly. Is that all there is to it, asked Alkaloo? Prune it well, said Amelia Bedelia. She always gets mixed up. Mrs. Rogers likes things done right. Amelia Bedelia went into the kitchen. Oh, I plum forgot my cupcakes, she said, and I must make that chocolate icing. Amelia Bedelia put some of this and that and a little of that in a big pot. She stirred and she stirred. Then she tasted the icing. Just right, she said. Amelia Bedelia began to ice her cakes. I bet they're going to be delicious. The fish, she said. Mr. Rogers said to scale them and ice them. Amelia Bedelia got the scales. She piled the fish on them. See, those are scales for weighing. I don't think that's what he meant. <laughs> There, she said, you just scale yourselves while I ice the cakes. And Amelia Bedelia iced her cakes. Those do look nice, she said, and there's enough icing left to ice the fish too. Uh-oh. Amelia Bedelia picked up a fish by its tail. I hope you have scaled long enough, she said. <laughs> she iced one side of the fish, then the ice, she iced the other side. Oh my goodness. Amelia Bedelia worked until the last fish was iced. That takes care of you, she said. Amelia Bedelia put the iced fish and the iced cakes in the cupboard. Mrs. Rogers came into the kitchen. Look at this. Chocolate icing. <laughs> Amelia Bedelia, use this tablecloth for the table, she said. Do run over it first with an iron. And we need some cut flowers, said Mrs. Rogers. She went out the back door. Amelia Bedelia unfolded the tablecloth. She put it on the floor. Then Amelia Bedelia got the iron and she ran all over the tablecloth. She's funny. Amelia Bedelia put the tablecloth on the table. Alkaloo came over to Amelia Bedelia. That takes care of that, he said. I even had some prunes left. So I pruned the other bushes too. That does look nice, she said. Mrs. Rogers will be mighty pleased. Amelia Bedelia and Alkaloo met Mrs. Rogers at the back door. Mrs. Rogers came in with a bunch of flowers. She put them on the kitchen table. Amelia Bedelia, she said, use the large silver bowl for the cut flowers. All right, said Amelia Bedelia. 
Mrs. Rogers left the kitchen. I wonder what she's going to do. Oh, boy. She came right back with a basket of gifts. These are for Miss Alma's shower, she said. We will start sewing as we always do. Then, when all the ladies are here, we will say, surprise! Then comes the shower. Can you and Alkalu take care of everything? Oh, yes, said Amelia Bedelia. We will see to everything. These flowers are so pretty, said Amelia Bedelia. It's a shame to cut them. She said, cut flowers, said Alkalu. Let me help you. So Amelia Bedelia and Alkalu fixed a bowl of cut flowers. Oh my goodness, they just cut them all up. <laughs> we do have some figuring out to do, she said. I thought those ladies were supposed to be giving this shower, and here we are giving it. If we had known, said Alkalu, we could have fixed up something fancy. It's too late for that now, said Amelia Bedelia. The two of them went outside. Amelia Bedelia saw the garden hose. Think that will do? asked Alkalu. Uh-oh. Well, it's not really a shower, said Amelia Bedelia, but it's the next best thing. I will give her the gifts and you can shower her. The gifts will get wet, said Alkalu. They are shower gifts, said Amelia Bedelia. What if they do get wet? We will get wet too. Well, said Alkalu, we can put on something else. What a good idea, said Amelia Bedelia. Hide those gifts first, said Alkalu. Amelia Bedelia hid the, basket, hid the basket of gifts under some bushes. It is time to get ready, she said. Boy, oh boy. A bit later, Amelia Bedelia heard a car stop. Here come the ladies, she called to Mrs. Rogers. Mrs. Rogers hurried out to meet them. Mrs. Ralph came first, and with her came her four children. Look, they shouted, prunes on the hedge. The children went racing past. Because <laughs> prune the hedges means to trim them, with, cut them down a bit. More and more ladies came. They began to sew, and Miss Alma did not come. Where is Miss Alma? Everybody asked, but nobody knew. Mrs. Rogers looked at the table. Footprints, said Mrs. Rogers. Amelia Bedelia, what did you do to that tablecloth? I ran over it with an iron, said Amelia Bedelia. Should I have taken my shoes off first? <laughs> oh boy, here come the flowers. Oh, never mind, said Mrs. Rogers. Amelia Bedelia, where are the cut flowers, she asked. Oh my, said Amelia Bedelia, I forgot them. Amelia Bedelia ran in and got the flowers. Mrs. Rogers looked at the bowl. Amelia Bedelia, she cried. What did you do to those flowers? I cut them, said Amelia Bedelia. You said to fix a bowl of cut flowers. I don't think that's what she meant. I think she just wanted her to cut the stems. Just then, Miss Alma drove up. Here she is, said the ladies. Sorry to be late, said Miss Alma, but I have a headache. I am sorry, said Mrs. Rogers. You just sit down. Mrs. Rogers turned to Amelia Bedelia. Are you ready for the shower, she asked. We will need a minute or two, said Amelia Bedelia. She called Alkalu. They went back of the house. And there stood Amelia Bedelia and Alkalu in bathing suits. All right, called Amelia Bedelia, we are ready. Then all the ladies shouted, surprise! Uh-oh, what's gonna happen? Oh, surprise, shouted Amelia Bedelia. She ran out with the gifts and dumped them on Miss Alma's lap. Here are the gifts, she said. Alkalu came right behind her with the hose and here is the shower, he shouted. Oh my goodness. A shower, a shower, screamed Mrs. Ralph's four children, and they jumped into the shower with Miss Alma. All the ladies screamed too, and they jumped out of the shower. <laughs> I'll bet they did. Oh my goodness, they're all dripping wet. Miss Alma leaped up. Her gifts flew all over the place. How dare you, she shouted. Miss Alma was angry. She was very angry. Amelia Bedelia Alkalu, shouted Mrs. Rogers. Turn off that water this minute. Everybody was wet. Amelia Bedelia and Alkalu turned off the water. 
Did you see how mad Miss Alma was? asked Alkaloo. I don't think she liked our shower, said Amelia Bedelia. Maybe some hot tea will help her, Amelia Bedelia and Alkaloo went into the kitchen. I'll take the tea things, said Amelia Bedelia. You bring the cupcakes. Here is the tea, said Amelia Bedelia. Thank goodness for that, said Mrs. Rogers. Hmm, that chocolate looks good, said Mrs. Ralph. Help yourself, said Mrs. Rogers. Look at the fish. <laughs> I don't think they're going to taste so good. Mrs. Ralph helped herself to the biggest piece. She took her fork. Mrs. Ralph tried to cut it, but it wouldn't cut. And Mrs. Ralph wanted that chocolate, so she picked it up and bit it. Oh, she screamed, fish, raw fish. Mrs. Ralph was angry. She was very angry. Oh, my goodness. Mr. Rogers came out just then. He heard what Mrs. Ralph said. Fish, he shouted. Amelia Bedelia, what did you do to my fish? Ice them, said Amelia Bedelia. Now Mr. Rogers was angry, too. Because he just meant ice, like ice cubes, frozen water, not icing. Suddenly, Miss Alma started laughing. Everybody looked at her. She jumped up and threw her arms around Amelia Bedelia. You are wonderful, said Miss Alma. My headache is all gone. That surprise shower was just what I needed. Then Mrs. Ralph laughed. Amelia Bedelia, she said, did you prune the hedge? Cousin Alkaloo did that, said Amelia Bedelia. It's all turning out. Then he is wonderful too, said Mrs. Ralph. See how happy my children are? They have never been this good. <laughs> and suddenly, everybody was laughing. Mrs. Rogers began to pour the tea. Amelia Bedelia served the chocolate cupcakes, and the ladies said they were the best cakes they had ever eaten. That was so much fun, said all the ladies, and they laughed some more. Then they helped pick up Mrs. Alma's gifts. And they were still laughing when they left. Amelia Bedelia and the surprise shower.